The Warriors and the Spartans clash here tonight as Alexander took on Warren. What's going on, Hardwood Nation? I'm your online host, T. Willis, and I'm joined in studio by Alexander reporter Jack Gleckler. Now, Jack, when you're watching Alexander basketball, you can always expect a physical game. Of course, T. Overall, I'd say this is one of, if not the most, physical games I've ever watched in my time at Hardwood here. There were falls, fouls that were racking up throughout the entire game. Uh, by the end of the second half, Alexander had 17 fouls total through the whole game compared to Warren's only 13. And this was a very fast paced game too. They were zipping up and down the court like Alexander does. They're small and they're fast, but Warren had the height advantage on them except for Caleb Terry. Good old Caleb Terry. Uh, and I'd say this was a very good Alexander basketball game. They knew what they were sticking to their strategy, but ultimately it didn't pay off for them in the end. Now you talk about that height advantage, but how was Caleb Terry able to use his height advantage for his team? Well, since he was the tallest one on the on the court, he obviously he would lead the tip off, and whenever um, Warren would make a shot or they were tempted to pass, he could knock it out of the way, knock it over to his teammates, and they could make their own shots, and that helped them rack up the points. In fact, he, while not as doing as well as he did last his last game, he did rack up 14 points. Now, we had some good play from Alexander, but ultimately just couldn't come up with the win. What went right for them, though? Well, like I said before, Caleb Terry, he had a very good game. Not as good as his last game where he, where he was the star of the show, but he did rack up 14 points tonight. Very good for him. Uh, Dylan Meckham, as well, racked up 12 points. Uh, overall, the rest of the squad, they played fairly decent for Alexander basketball. Uh, and ultimately, they lost 59-46 to 46 tonight. Jack, as always, thank you. And that's all we got for tonight, but you can continue to look out for us this week. Like us on Facebook, add us on Snapchat, and follow us on Twitter. Go to our homepage at woub.org heroes. For Jack Leckler, I'm T. Willis reminding you to be heroic.